Hello people that are watching this video. Um yeah, welcome back to my LP of Thrillville for the PlayStation 2. Thrillville off the rails for the PlayStation 2. I'm probably going to abbreviate it as OTR. Alright, so I know we started about over here ish. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I thought for a second that was like five hour energy and then I realized that is not invented yet. Um, I, I think we started standing like right here and I actually, during my first recording, got a phone call so I had to trash that and actually built a pretty sick coaster. Um, we are going to be... Oh, no, no, I don't want to build... But I was just about to say buying a pre-built coaster is about the most amazing thing you can do. I mean, about the most boring thing you can do. You gotta build your own. Come on, guys. That's what the point of Thrillville is. Customize everything. It's like The Sims 3, but not at all. And came out years before. As a matter of fact, I had Sims 2 for the same console. So, that proves it. Actually, I got Sims 2 on watch, I believe. From Walmart, if I remember correctly. Um, And if I remember correctly, playing it was awesome but yeah uh, we're just gonna start off with a basic coaster right now I don't think I'm gonna do anything too extreme darn it too near guests I want to kill guests which I heard there's a glitch in which you can do but oops I want to start it off simple and use track assist and make a complete coaster and perhaps later make one crash yeah I'm spontaneous there we go it's kind of a boring one, only about halfway through with the thrill and nausea, but whatever. Let's ride this beast. I'm not going to paint it or anything, that'll just be more loading screens we have to stare at. Unless you want me to paint one, in that case leave it the suggestion in the comments. Now there's one thing that got me really upset when I bought the Wii version. In the PS2 version, when you go like that, can you hear that? That's the rumble. It's going insane on the PS2 controller. When you play the game on the PlayStation 2, it rumbles quite a lot. When you play it on the Wii, there is no such thing. As a matter of fact, there's absolutely no rumble. Even a Wii remotes can handle rumble. As a matter of fact, in Wii Party, there is a thing called Spot the Sneak in which one of the remotes rumbles and you have to figure out who's the sneak and you end up cheating and running into zombies purposely and I don't know, it's all boring. Actually, no, uh, Wii Party isn't boring. It's actually one of my favorite Wii games. Hey, look, there's a girl about my age. Can I ask her out? I hate her. She's obnoxious. You hear her voice? I can't. I'm not listening to the audio. I'm putting that straight into my game capture device. Um, oh, guy with blue trophy. Blue trophies mean that those are missions. Missions that you have to such talk. <laughs> it sucked. <laughs> oh my god. It was like a black hole in that it had remarkable suckitude. I thought it was interesting. I didn't agree with everything you said, but it made some good points. I think I'm going to do that one to speed the process along. <laughs> if you actually did your job, you'd see Thrillville deserves a good score from you. That just contradicts what I just said. And I know we'll be getting, a, I know we'll get a glowing review now. The park has been improved dramatically. I think I'll do that. Ah, oh, there we go. Cool. I just skipped all that dialogue because it's not important. Yeah, now there's two more critics out in the park. Yes, there are critics in this game. One of them's name is Mo Potts. The other one is a kid, I believe. In another cutscene, I'll shut up. Alright, um... I hope that that jump cut there didn't make any of you ill. <clears throat> and you may notice that there is sound in this part. Okay, uh, allow me to explain myself. During that cut from that cut scene, I got a phone call. 
and I accidentally stopped the recording, which thank God I did, because I realized that my game capture device is not picking up sound. The reason? I have two reasons. One of them is, one, the thing overheats all the time, and let me tell you, the thing can probably start a fire, it's so hot. And that might have kind of cut out the audio, I gave it a minute to cool down. And reason number two, uh, about 15 minutes before recording this, I messed about with my audio properties, and, um, yeah, I kind of switched my default mic to my webcam mic, since one of my friends was having trouble hearing me on Skype don't know what that has anything to do with the game capture device microphone. Something tells me it has nothing to do with it, but whatevs. So we are going to ride a coaster as I ponder what just went on and post it on the forums. I'm just kidding, I don't post anything on forums anymore. Besides questions to why isn't my Minecraft working. Is there... Ooh. There is rumble. Rumble? I'm start. What was that? Is it rumble? Hmm. Um. What did I call it before? The controller. The, um. Vibration. Did I call it rumble before? I, d I honestly don't remember. That was close to 25 minutes ago, and I don't remember. That proves. That proves how good of memory I have. Um, yeah, once again, sorry about that, folks. I mean, yeah, that kind of sucked. That was a fail on my end, and we are going to... I'm going to make it up to you guys. Um, we are going to put down a mission. So anyway, back to Thrillville. I am going to do a games mission. And... The name of this mission is Just Play, or not the name, one of the awards, which I'm already getting award for attempting Stunt Rider. I just noticed his head is a balloon. How long have I been playing this game for? 2006, so around six years? And I never noticed that before, or his head looks like a balloon at least. And there is horrible music, and that was kind of a stupid move. Can I change it? Yeah, I did. Alright, so let's see what level I can get to in Stunt Rider. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. I can hear people commenting on ready already. I mean, this is this is almost as bad as Sal Chris's Super Mario Brothers uh, Super Mario World review there. Or not review. Let's play them do reviews. What am I talking about? Speaking of which meaningless plug here. I'll put a link in the description or in an annotation. I'm not sure which yet. My buddy Sal Chris does reviews, not reviews, I don't know why I keep saying that, and Let's Plays. Let's Plays, that's what they're called. And he's doing a horrific one on Mario 3. I'm all for him. He's one of my, he's a really good friend of mine. And I'm willing to support my friends, you know? But, um, yeah, watch the first few episodes and give it a laugh. He, uh, he dies in the first enemy of the first stage, not getting anything away. Though, to be completely fair, if we were playing like Minecraft on a server or something, he would dominate me. So, I mean, there's certain games that he's good at that I'm not. And then there's games like Mario World, which he absolutely sucks at and I'm rather good at. I'd rather well at. Would that be proper English? I don't even know. I don't care anymore. It's like 10 o'clock. I was up from 6 a.m. this morning. Go to school. Last week of school. No, actually, no, it's a lie. Last full. What was that? Come on. Anyway, last full week of school. Next week we have final exams. Starting on Tuesday, which is kind of why I'm recording the Let's Play. I am so putting off studying the finals. Especially because my exam on Tuesday is history, my exam on Wednesday is science, and my other exam on Wednesday is English. Yeah. Um, good news is, Thursday and Friday I don't even have to come to school. And 
Monday is review day, which means I don't have to do any work besides in class when we review stuff. And not the good kind of review, not the video game time reviews like I try to do. Speaking of which, in production, guys, I know I'm spending a really long time doing video game time reviews. There's a certain gamer out there that takes longer to put out reviews. I bet you can guess who I'm thinking of. Well, at least if you're an active uh, YouTuber that watches YouTube gaming channels, you can probably guess who I'm thinking of. Someone that is very popular in his arts. But I'm not going to talk about that. That is a can of worms. I'm not really, um, I'm kind of not willing to open up. Ugh, I almost fell over there. And, yeah, um, the video game time's kind of been sucking lately because I'm out of stuff to review. Um, I, I, I believe Angry Video Game Nerd said it best himself. He has a hit list of games. And I don't have a hit list of games. That's the problem. I normally go through... Well, I do, sort of. Um, the problem with my hit list of games, though, is that most of them, or 90% of them, I want to do when I get better at reviews. I've only done, like, two or three reviews so far. Actually, probably only two. The episode three of... You know, screw this. Episode three of Video Game Time was just setting up for the Game Boy Advanced SP NES Edition. Spoiler! Which is an expensive device. Ugh. Do I bother putting this on YouTube? Yeah. I probably should. I'll talk to you guys later.